My name is Daniel Pinto and I am a gay male. My parents are immigrants. They immigrated from Mexico, so they're not used to a lot of the lifestyles people have in America. You know, as I grew up when I was in high school, I used to get kicked out and I was very rebellious because I didn't wasn't going by their traditional beliefs and how I should be behaving. I was still in the closet in high school, but I would wear girls' jeans just because it was like a trend because they didn't have skinny jeans at the time. I would get kicked out of my house for things like that and I think that was the very first time I ever got kicked out of my house and I had nowhere to go except for a friend's house whose mom was very open and welcoming into her, my sexuality or what I chose to wear or anything it didn't matter. They gave me a place to stay and it was a very loving home. I felt what being loved for just being me and for where I was at that time. The strongest example in my life of hate would be my own hate towards myself, my sexuality. I think especially I have a lot of hate towards my sexuality. I used to. You know, I grew up being made fun of for speaking differently, for having a list. I would grow up hearing my parents make comments uh, to each other saying a man and a man like in the, in the same bed together wasn't okay and um, I heard those comments throughout. Um, so I chose to keep and like hide that. and. My goal every day was to be the straightest person I can to where as I tried dating girls, um, liking girls, flirting with girls, and so you know all that journey I just became very disconnected with myself and my family and other people. I ended up finding and hanging out other people in my area who were kind of the, the rebellious, like the anti like society people and uh, I ended up finding drugs and then finding drugs. I found the confidence to actually sleep with another man for the first time. I have to this day never had any sexual contact with another man, not on drugs, but it's just this fear of being with another man. So I got very trapped in the cycle of using um, and exploring you know, my sexuality through drugs because I couldn't do it without it became very lost and I hated myself and I hated the things I would do on drugs and I hated being gay and so you know I ended up having to seek help and through seeking help you know I started to look at a lot of things that I was I guess I was in denial of and I didn't want to admit to myself um, I wouldn't want to accept I did grow up wishing that I wasn't gay a lot of the times and I grew up feeling there was something wrong with me and that things would be different if I wasn't gay and my life would be better if I wasn't gay. You know, be, it caused me to be very depressed and discontent with life, I guess would be the word. But yeah, so I ended up in uh, institutions and different places, you know, people who use drugs and uh, through help from other people, I managed to piece my life back together. When I started, went into recovery, I heard a message to where it's okay to be me and that I don't have to fight or carry this mask to be somebody else. I started doing things that I would deny myself of doing, like hair and makeup, which is what I do for a living now. Um, it's quite funny because I like resisted anything stereotypically gay. I'm starting to learn how to build relationships with other gay men and be friends with gay men and be able to be surrounded by gay men and um, I admire really flamboyant gay men because to me they don't have that fear that I've had for so long of just being me in public and being okay with being me. I try to surround myself with the people who are most comfortable with themselves, you know, so that I learn to be like them and not afraid of who I am. If I can tell something to today's youth, it would definitely be the same stuff I would tell myself if I had the opportunity to go back and tell myself these things. And it would be, one, it just keep being you. Like, I'm just trying to be me today. And the second thing is, is I couldn't be me today if I didn't seek to change. In order to change, I had to take action. And that for anything, if we want change, if we want to see change, it's definitely something I have to be a part of. And, um, and that's taking action and doing something to make that change happen. Because if I sit back, nothing's ever going to change.